Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you have seen how the overall landscape of Android data persistence looks like. In this video, we will get started with the very first one that is how to write to a file. If you have a look at the sample code to write any string to a file, this is how it would look like. You basically use file output stream related APIs of Java. You can see in line number 136, I am basically creating file output stream. I create a file output stream writer and write the text using the write method of the output output stream writer the only glitch you may find here is i am using something called as mode now the question is what is this mode this mode is file creation mode android provides three ways in which you can create a particular file one is the mode private as name indicates file that is private to that particular app in other way no other app can access this particular file any app which share the same process id can access this particular file the next one is mode world readable other apps can read read the content of this particular file and mode word writable means other apps can write to this particular file. Both the word readable and word writable are dangerous operations. You should never create a file in this particular mode because if you write any sensitive information to this particular file, there is a possibility that some other apps can read the content of this particular file. And that is the reason why from API 11, 17 onwards, that is Jelly Bean, the mode word readable and writable are actually deprecated in Android. Now this is how you write to a file and what if you want to read from a particular file. The code will once again pretty much look a typical Java code. You use the file input stream and then create an input stream reader. You use a string builder because as you are using buffer reader you will be reading multiple lines. So till you don't reach the end of the line you want to keep on appending to the string builder and once you are done and reach the end of the line you come out of the while loop and then just return the string so far what we have seen code looks pretty much java code so it's a time to get into a quick demo have a look at how it can be implemented in a typical android application this is the application that i have created if you observe i have a main activity and the main activity contains edit text box where you enter any string that you want to write to a file and when you click on this particular button you write to a file and when you click on read from file you read from the file and i also have a text view where i will be displaying whatever that i have read from the file now if you come back to the main activity i have written these two methods read from file and write to file now we will see how to use these two methods to actually do any kind of operation in android and if you observe when i click the write button file i am invoking a method called as write content to file and in the write to content file i get the string and check whether the string is not empty if it is not empty then you can go ahead and write to a file for that you can just simply invoke the method that we had written earlier that is write to file three parameters the file name i have created a constant here file name which has the value sample dot text the second parameter is the source text which is string here and the third parameter is mode and I want to create it in the private mode and this will basically write the string to sample.txt file mode of that particular file creation would be mode private and in the same way when I click on the button read from file uh, another method called as populate the red text will get invoked it will set the text to the text view so I have a text view called as text view content from file set text and what text it will set whatever it will read from the file and file name is the constant that I have declared in the activity and another thing that I want to take care is if the application is closed and reopened then on the on resume method it will check whether the file is already saved and some text is there it will just directly repopulate it so that is why I have written another method called as populate text from the previous session it will read the file it pretty much looks like what the earlier method that we implemented here it will just up Append from previous session text and then show the red content. So let me run this particular application. When the application runs for the first time, you will observe that we will get a toast message saying that oops, something went wrong because for the first time there will not be any file. If I directly try to read from the file, I will get a toast message saying that something went wrong because the file is not there. Now let me write something here. Let me 
right to the file and after that if i click on the read from the file i just read hello world from the file and just let me go back here try to enter a new string file io in android right to the file and then once again i will try to read from the file i am getting the new content from the file and if i close the application and then later once again open the application i should be able to fetch that particular text from the file and see that content and that's exactly what you are seeing from the previous session welcome to file io in android where is this particular file getting created for that what we can do is in ide there is an option like android device monitor you can click on the android device monitor it will basically open another ui wherein you can pretty much see what is happening and what are the contents of the emulator that you are running you can observe the whole file system of the emulator that is currently under execution this is pretty much a very handy tool there is an folder called as data you can go under data and then under data there will be another folder called as data and then you have to search for the folder which has the application package name your applications package name will be available in the manifest file if you open the manifest file it will be having this particular package name that is youtube cotutor.com dot file io sample and if you check you will get exactly that particular folder with the same name under this there will be various subfolders the one that we are currently interested in is files folder and under files folder you will observe a sample.txt file you can just pull this particular file and save it on the desktop you can open it using any of the editor that you might be having on the machine so let me open this and this is exactly what you have written to the file so by now you will be familiar where to get this particular file and what is the folder structure in which the file will be maintained in the next video we will be discussing how to create a file in the sd card that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye